Hello and welcome guys. Today we're gonna put the tail tidy on this beast. Hopefully won't be too hard. So we'll see how it goes. So first of all we have to remove the old one to get an access and then we're gonna change for the new one, Evotech one. So one, two, three, four bolts. Unplug the wire harness from this, which goes to the tail light. And then we just go away. We go with the flow. Okay, plug is off. Eight mils. Get those four of them. Right, so from the instruction, this says every tax evil tax says that we have to save this and swap to the new one. So we take this out and we go inside and start dismantling this and put it into the new one. Okay, so see you in a while. Okay, okay, we're back into the bench. So now we have to take this on part to get access to the electrical loom and dismantle this take the indicators out and stick into the, the evotech new parts okay so i can see there's a bolt it doesn't want to go out so we we'll try this first So this is out. This too. I think I had some. That's eight again. Socket number eight. Always loose and then just unbolt. No. They just move, so I think so. The the head behind the this light. Oh, so we have to take it out. I think that's some kind of stick in with some plastic over the metal kind of bracket just holding it's not screw it's a bracket see so it's just like you know kind of this kind of i don't know metal bracket just holds that plastic roof over here and that's it so it's the same from the other side That's it. So now we can slide the light. It's not the light, it's just reflex reflector. Oh yeah, and then we have access to put the Allen over here and socket number 10. And that's the other one. Okay, so this bit, it's off. All right, so now we have access to this. So from this side we have to hold with the spanner number eight and from this side we're gonna take the bolt with Allen head out and that's the tail light registration plate. Now we have to remove the indicators. One out, the other side to see. Okay, so now we have to open this plastic part. Yeah, 
Okay, so now we have it. There's some greasy stuff over here. So we take the loom out. So now we have to take on part this socket and take the light out. So on the top over here is how to call it. It's a kind of lock, plastic lock. So when you press it in, lock goes inside and then you push it back, push it and you open that socket, okay? So it slides in and on the top you have a small plastic pin which works like a kind of lock and locks inside that hood. So when you press from the top, press and push and you have a light out. There's plenty of grease. They probably put the grease to prevent uh, the water moisture go inside the uh, the wires. So now we have, so this is right how they go. Black to black, blue to white. Okay, so black to black and then goes green to green to uh, white okay okay so now we have to just take the slum completely out to be able to slide out the indicators i already just marked them so i don't know if i need them to mark or if it doesn't matter if i put right left so this one it's already out this is already out Okay, so that's the piece of loom. Now we can slide the indicators out. Okay, so that's it. Right, so now we can start working on the EvoTech parts. So we're gonna take this extension, put through the wire from in the indicator. Okay, and screw back, tied up, not too much because this part is a plastic, this is aluminium. Now, this is back, this is, this is back all of the tail, this is back where the registration plate go and light. So we go through, and that was the lefty, through the hole. over here and now you have to put one of the screws don't worry guys this goes only one way you can't go wrong Tied up. Okay. So this is this side. So now this part, the the light goes over here, and we have to just screw it with the very small screws from the back. Okay, guys. So this is not Allen actually. It's a Torx. And it's very small, it says TX8 on this torque. So I was looking at half because EvoTech don't attach any like, you know, uh, tools into that packet. So if you don't have it and they're really small, really tiny. 
So be careful, don't over tight. Okay, this is this is it at the moment. So now what are we gonna do now? We have to just go through the wires over here. Like that. We can remove this one. We don't need that anymore. That's caught inside so it's easy to just go around. Now we have to attach those pins. So they have to be facing with the cuts with the threads to see that that cut over here on the bracket. Okay, so that's one. It's two. And three. Okay. Okay. So when we just move the cables, we have to move that from the registration plate also through that cut over here it's not that really important at the moment from other side as well through the groove and we slide those pins to the grooves from the other side okay like that now we can just squeeze if that move we can still adjust because that's where the top part is going to be screw and this is this part it's gonna screw over here so we can take a little bit make sure there's nothing cut okay so we hold like that take from the set countersink screw and we go through okay guys don't some mistake see why screw like that this is supposed to go over way other way so hmm I learn from my mistake okay now we have to just unbolt this one again Take this cable out again. Move from this side and put through this side. See if I know what I'm talking about. This has to flush like that. I've done the other way. Has to be flush. See. It's like a big puzzle. Again, very small screw, so don't break it. Now again, we have to fish the cable over here. catch okay this won't go anywhere okay so next step this part goes over this part but we have to just make sure the wires go freely we're not gonna cut them so Obviously now we have to put that rubber which we took from the top and put through over here through cables. Okay guys, so we have this part on. Now we have to back to the uh, bike and feed that. What I've done, I noticed I have a 
so many screw le screws left and I notice I put the uh, original trumpf uh, tail screws over the indicators and actually Ivote gave us enough to put the black I think so black one much better there is no that kind of silver popping out everything is just like you know blend in this obviously is going to be covered but uh, by registration so you won't be able to see but now everything is just nice and black okay so now we have to back to the bike and connect everything on the bike okay okay we're back to the garage before we put the tail tidy on we have to remove those metal I don't know pins and replace with the Evotech the much smaller see that was the triumph that's from Evotech so now we have four of them replace okay so four out and four in yeah four in okay so now what we have to do go through that hole with the wires and connect the tail tidy okay so now we stick the tile tail tidy in and start screwing the bolts which provide Evote okay we have a four bolts in everything is in position so now we can just tie it up don't over tight that small screws as well it won't go anywhere don't worry so now I think it's time just to connect the loom okay force we have to attach that connector which comes with the kit from evotech so black to black remember and the yellow will be the red one okay that's in then This is this connector, this is this connector, so we have to connect this part first, as remember before, click, so that's the tail light. Now the right side, right and left, so this was, remember, lefty, I think, so yeah, that's the lefty, so as well, black to black, and color to color. black to black check twice make sure everything is connect correctly the color of the cable doesn't match the colors so from from the loom so black always to black and whatever color goes to the colors in my case is white to green and white to blue ignition We have a light and right indicator is right indicator, left is left now. Everything is work and the brake. Yeah, so we just don't mistake. We mixed up the right and left indicators. Everything works. And tail tidy looks beautiful. Okay guys, I've done something like that, cable management. It's maybe not the prettiest, but unfortunately this this tidy left a bit longer cables because before we had the longer tail, so now the shorter tail extend the cables, but it's better like that. Okay, sit back and that's it. Looks nice, doesn't it? Much nicer. Looks much nicer. Okay. 
So that's everything from me for today. See you next time. All right. Thank you.